Hey everybody, Yost Coast is back. It's been a while since I've done a review. I just haven't had anything new lately. I've been busy working on photos, interviews, such like that. I've had a great interview with Doug from DAA. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Or Melanie, who's awesome, from Wet Shaving Products. Or even Heather from Zingari Man. That's what I've been kind of concentrating on lately, but now I have a new scent from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I have the Grey Label Doppelganger, and this is their homage to Aventus from Creed. And this is a fantastic cologne scent. Very, very strong, and I'll tell you one thing, I am kicking myself because I didn't pick up the matching aftershave. I just bought it on a whim after I did the interview with him. He gave a set away on my Instagram Live, and I was kind of jealous. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wanted it, so I picked up the soap and thought, you know, let's just get the soap, but here I am with just the soap, and I'm kind of pissed. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll pick it up at some point, but this is definitely a heavy cologne scent. I've never smelled the actual Aventus before, but I have the uh, Black Label Doppelganger, which is the homage to Sauvage. Man, that is a mouthful. And it's dead nuts on with the original. So I can only imagine this is just as good. Now, I've actually heard some people say that they were actually unhappy with the real uh, Aventus and said that it didn't last this long. Well, if you've ever used PAA before, you know their scents last all day. They're super strong, and this soap... The scent strength on the soap alone, I'm probably going to say is an 8 or 9. It's, it's, it's really strong, and I like that. It's the way I like it. And that's the way most of us like it. And this is the CK6 formula, which if anybody of you guys have used, is a great, it is a great formula. It's a, it's a vegan formula. It, it, it definitely competes with tallow-based formulas. It's within my top three of vegan bases as far as just its cushion, its slickness, residual slickness, and its uh, potion. It's fantastic. Absolutely great. So I'm super excited to be able to try this one out and give you guys my thoughts and the review and stuff on it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around too much. I'm gonna get right into it and I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts of the soap are and I hope you guys stick around. Along with the soap today, I'll be using my Wild West Brushworks custom handle that I picked to go with my beautiful cobalt knot because blue is my favorite color. And then I'll be using the double open comb ascension from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. My first very lightweight razor. I have a review on this as well if you check through my videos. Very lightweight, 7075 aluminum. It is super, super easy and light, and I've, I've gravitated towards the lighter handles and razors over the past year or so that I've been wet shaving. I've been doing it for about three years now. I thought heavier was the way I wanted to go, but I found that lighter is the way for me personally. If you haven't used this one, it is an adjustable. It does not have any sort of actual notches or anything. It just has kind of like a, a quarter turn to kind of pick where you want for aggressiveness. And I found that anything like at its tightest point is just too, too uh, non-aggressive for me. So I take it about a quarter turn, which is about the most aggressive you can get. And that's because I've gotten used to single edge razors, but I'm out of single edge blades right now. Normally I'd be using either my 1914 Everready or my single edge razor, the Starling from PAA. Both of them are probably my top two favorite razors. So for today, I'm gonna be using the double open comb which is nothing wrong with it. I just prefer the single edges now. I feel they give me a better, closer shave with one pass. So let's get into it. Let's not mess around too much. Let's get the soap going. I'm gonna do a face leather. Man, that is so good, so good. Let me wet up my brush here real quick. I'll try and keep the water on low because I know people don't like to necessarily hear the water running in the background, but I do like to have hot water running because I like to make my blade nice and hot. Let's do a puck lather. CK6 formula is a little thirsty. Not a big deal, just something I wanted to mention. But it lathers very easily. I just have to use a little more water than some soaps and I'm making a huge mess right now, but that's all right, as I'm getting it all over myself. Man, getting this wet, scent is exploding right now. Anyway, I almost have to say I like the scent of it better than I do the, uh, the Sauvage. little thirsty, like I said. So I'm gonna wet my brush a little more. Sorry, I don't mean to keep banging on my sink here. Get a little wetter. There we go. Perfect. I don't take a whole lot of time when I lather. I know some people do. 
I feel as long as it gets on there and it gets to the point where I can paint it and give a nice thick even lather, that's all I need. I highly recommend you guys check out my interview with Doug. It was definitely a cool experience. We talked for about an hour and a half, which is the longest I've ever talked to an artist. And, and it was a great time. Doug is such a down to earth guy. And uh, I learned a lot about him and his company and his passion behind the soap making process. And, you know, it just gave me a further respect for the man. And, you know, if you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend you do it just because it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. And I learned a lot and a lot of people were learn a lot about him. So let's get to, to uh, let's get to the shade. Like I said, I've got this on the most aggressive setting. I just feel on the weakest, it doesn't really even get the job done. If you're having somebody who's new into wet shaving or somebody who is very sensitive, you know, the lighter setting would be good for them. But I prefer a little more aggressive. I've been doing it long enough now and I'm comfortable with the razor that I know what to expect from it. And I know how to handle it. And being the lightweight allows me to add the pressure that I feel is necessary to get the shave done. Man, this stuff smells so good. I am going to be having some more interviews coming up. Uh, I, like I said, I had I had uh, interviewed Melanie from Wet Shaving Products. She's awesome. And I also interviewed Heather from Zingari Man. She's awesome. But I'm also going to be speaking with the owner from Wet Shaving Products, Lee. Uh, I haven't set up the time yet, but within the next week or so, I should have him on my Instagram Live. I'm looking forward to that. I haven't done many live shaves lately because uh, a lot of people have been really, really, really digging the, the interviews. And it's cool because I like to put a face with the name. I like to make people know who they're buying from, what the you know purpose behind the company is, and learn a little bit more about them because this market is flooded, as you know. And you know this soap here, most of my soaps, I'm not going to lie, are given to me, but I went out and purchased this one. One of them was given away on my giveaway, and I was I'm not going to lie, I was kind of jealous, and I wanted it myself. So I picked it up, paid for it out of my own money. So this review is completely genuine, like they always are. But I did pay for this set. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Now with the CK6 formula, the slickness is fantastic. Cushion is great. Residual slickness here is good. If I, I, I The only thing I noticed with the double open comb is I have some issues around my chin right here. So I've just kind of taken a little water, hit my neck or my chin a little bit. Boom. No issue at all. Original slickness is perfect. I think the double open comb works a little better if you have more facial hair, but since I shave every day, I don't think the double open comb is necessary. I prefer the solid bar, whether it be, even on my single edge, I like the, the, the solid bar than I do the open comb. If I had more facial hair or waited a longer time in between, it would probably be much more beneficial. So that's the shave, it was quick. I mean, you've seen people shave 100 times before. You guys shoot. You know what it's like, but I'm going to rinse off and give you my final thoughts. Everything's rinsed off. I'm getting that great glowing post-shave feel. Still getting a nice moisturizing. My skin is not tight or dry. Everything feels nice and moisturized. I can still smell the Aventus on my face. It's a great, great soap. If you haven't checked out the CK formula or the Doppelganger line, I highly recommend it. Doug is a great guy, great customer service, always willing to talk and, you know, talk shop, talk about his products. He stands behind them. One thing I do want to mention, just for my own personal preference, I'm big with my labels. That's why I like to face them out and have them on my shelf like I do. One thing I always had an issue with in the past is that their labels were nice looking, but they weren't waterproof. I have the Doppelganger behind me that when I got it wet, part of the label came off. But this new one here, when I took a photo of it today, I noticed that we uh, water was beating up on it. And so they have made these now with a slick finish. I'm so happy they've finally done that because his artwork is just beautiful. And I want to showcase it and show it off. I had to be careful and make sure my label wasn't sitting next to my soap or getting wet. And now I don't have to worry about it because they're a much higher quality. It's got a nice finish on it. It beads up when I put water on it for my photos, which is, if you've seen my photos, I love the water. I'm obsessed with water. It's just it's just who I am. That's just my signature, this is the water. So, Doug, fantastic freaking job on this, on this Aventus Creed. The Doppelganger line is probably my favorite line from you other than the Black Bot. 
but I don't have Black Bot in the new formula. I have it in the old one, which isn't a bad formula, but CK6 definitely raises the bar and is much better than their older formula. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely do so. I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check it out. And make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram because, like I said, I've got some more awesome interviews from other vendors and artisans coming up very, very soon. It's been exciting. I've had a lot of engagement lately, and you guys are really seem to be responding to it. So once again, this is Yost the Coast. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.